In this video, I'd like to give you a quick start into Icinium Graphite. I have Graphite already running here on my desktop. I just ran it from the website. And let me log in with my credentials. Same set of credentials I used on the website. All right, so let me go ahead and make a Hello World application here. And Icinium Graphite has gone ahead and loaded up. And we can see we have a very minimalistic UI overall. We really wanted to try and remove distractions from the development experience. Uh, over here in our projects, we can see, or in this project, we can see we have an index HTML. And then under scripts and styles, we have a main and a hello world JS. These are the three files that really consist of this application. The Kendo dependencies up here, as well as the Cordova dependencies, are things that are just going to come along and provide the functionality that we need for the application to work. So let me go ahead and run this application. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down. And you can see I have the option to run it on the device or in the simulator. And I'm going to go for the simulator, because that way you can see it. And here it is. Here's my default screen. I have a little bit of navigation down here where I can navigate to the other screens. Here I have a simple text box that I can go ahead and submit and see things happen. Here's even a geolocation, which the simulator allows me to go ahead and change my location. So let's go over here to Cambridge, and I can refresh that. And you can see we get a different map. So I have a lot of abilities to change my direction and everything else as well. Uh, I don't do anything with directions in this project, so I'm not going to worry about that. I can also rotate, see what this is going to look like in all the different angles of the devices. I can also go ahead and change the device. Let's go ahead and change this to be an Android platform. Now, first of all, you'll see that we have a very different look to the application. And this is what Kendo UI did for us. It went ahead and moved the navigation to be in the expected location for an Android device. And it changed the color scheme to look much more like a typical Android application. But we still have all the same functionality. I can go ahead and submit that. I can go ahead and look at my map. It's all nicely laid out for me. Now I can do this on a device too. Let me go ahead and just click uh, to run this on a device. You see that the build is happening. And this is going to deploy all the bits out to my device for me. And I'll be able to see all the action there as well. Let me go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. We have the single HTML page with all the various dependencies here. The important ones for our coding purposes is the Hello World JS and the main CSS. We have three different views here. We have the welcome view, we have the say hello view, and we have the location view. So these are functionally our three different screens with our navigation information about the headers that we want or the footer that we want for navigation. So let's take a look. One of the really interesting features that we have is called Live Sync. To, so in real time, I can make just a minor change. And this application running on my device and in the emulator, you'll have to trust me on the device side of things, well, I can come in here and make a small change. Hello, mom. And once I push save, that's actually going to go ahead and get pushed out in real time to all my devices as well as the simulator showing me that small change to where now I can have a really iterative quick debug cycle or look and feel cycle to get my UI to be exactly what I want or the functionality to be what I want. Let's take a look at our JavaScript file real quick. So bring up the project again and look into our Hello World JS. 
Now, Cordova you will call this onDeviceReady method as soon as the application is set up and running on the device. So from there, we go ahead and we get the location. And in this, all we do is call the Cordova API for get current position, passing in the success and error functions that we want called. And those are down here and just builds up our map or shows an error. And here we have the say hello and say hello reset functions, which those buttons on the say hello screen operate. And they simply get elements by their ID and then wind up changing various aspects of those, including like their inner HTML and if they're visible and so on. This was a very brief review of Icenium Graphite. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give us feedback. We've made it very simple. Just go up to the top here and click on feedback. And we are anxious to hear what you think. Thank you very much.